The light is fading, Guardian, and you'll need to arm yourself with more than just a pulse rifle to reclaim it. It is time to avenge this injustice, for that is the duty of all Guardians. Worst case scenario, you die. But who knows? Maybe you won't. Welcome to watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. The series where we arm you with knowledge and not weapons. Sorry, Cade. Long story short, I get busy. And I'm thinking, I've got this. For this list, we'll be taking a look at the intel that Bungie and Ghost thankfully provided for veteran and up-and-coming Guardians on the hit sequel. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. There's quite a few new features, so we've narrowed it down as best as we can. You're a bunch of dirty misfits, but you're all that's left, so you'll have to do. Number five, PC ports. With Destiny 2 coming to PC, we thought it would be a great opportunity to bring the Destiny community and the Blizzard community together. With a huge audience, more power under the hood, and support for both MMOs and FPSs, a PC port of a Destiny game seemed like a no-brainer. Unfortunately, Bungie lacked a proper staff experienced with PC ports and didn't want to displease the crowd by releasing a lackluster version of the original. You will find no mercy in me! After several rumors leading up to the sequel's reveal, PC players rejoiced with Bungie not only confirming Destiny 2's PC port, but a plethora of features only available on the platform. 60 FPS, keyboard mouse support with custom key mapping, and to top it all off, it'll be playable through Battle.net. Guess Blizzard's willing to share the spotlight after all. So have fun, and we'll see you online soon. Number 4, Piloting Tanks. Bungie is well accustomed to fun vehicular gameplay, and while Destiny's Sparrows were fun transport and racing vehicles, we couldn't help but miss the epic vehicular combat from our Halo days. Guess Bungie heard our cries, and they're bringing back damage-inflicting vehicles in the form of tanks. Halo fans will remember the feeling of destroying everything and everyone with Scorpion tanks. While overall information on the new vehicle is limited, we can only hope that it will capture the explosive action from a decade ago. Number 3, Clan Support Guardians shouldn't have to wander the galaxy in isolation. Through Bungie.net, third-party sites, and other applications, groups were formed as clans, but communication and representation was still limited. Wanting to really bring home the MMO experience, Bungie is giving full in-game support to clans, with banners, easy communication, and an additional tie-in feature called Guided Games. Since solo players couldn't attempt raids, Guided Games will finally offer a chance for them to join a clan and work together for a session, maybe even make friends and join up with them permanently. All the best stories in my personal gaming history have involved other people. From bonding with my own brothers to leading my own guilds and running tournaments for the different games I've loved, you know. Number two, more balanced PvP. It's now 4v4 across all the game modes. Yeah. Any fan of Destiny would probably tell you that PvP is a mixed bag. From unbalanced weapons to connection issues and the chaos of 6v6, not everyone was in on the fun. For the sequel, a few small changes are creating a big impact on the PvP this time around. With all modes reduced to 4v4, communication between teams should become more manageable, while the change in weapon types will allow for fewer overpowered weapons dominating the Crucible. Sniper rifles and shotguns are listed as power weapons, making ammo pickup much lower, and their overall use on the battlefield less frequent. Number 1, Actual Story Welcome to a world without light. Shooting down droves of enemies, gathering loot, and having supernatural powers is fun, but without a story, a game can feel incomplete. We once looked to the stars, and saw hope. While some fans will argue that grimoire cards added a lot to the lore and world building, having to go online to read them through, just to get an idea of what's going on heavily undermined the experience of the first game, and the fact that they've been removed from the sequel says a lot. With a brand new team heading Destiny 2, the cards are gone, and in their place is a near revamp of the entire story. I shot him, then I shot this other one. Shot a couple extra guys just to be safe. Your goal as a Guardian is now clear. The Cabal are the only threat, and all characters have been given a proper voice. Uh, aside from your character, of course. 
Well, better get back to it. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.